Hello and welcome. It is the first gardening video of 2014 here, and it's been a while. Uh, we were sort of in stasis mode for a long period just because we were concentrating on finishing up all sorts of other things, but uh, we are starting the new year out right a few weeks in. We take advantage both of the weather and the fact that we now have new garden partners, uh, Jerry and Jim by name. They are not here. Uh, they were here earlier. We were laying things out differently, and I'll explain what's going on and what's changed here in a sec, and we'll give you an overview of what's happening. Uh, pretty much the one major thing to stay, uh, at least in this uh, part of the garden, are the roses. They are, of course, well established at this point, um, and uh, they have been trimmed back, and they're starting to grow back, again, in the heat and all that. Uh, nothing totally sprouting yet, but you can see they're coming along, and in fact, plenty of fresh new leaves, and the reason why you can see the... Uh, darkness down there in the soil that is not just simply from water although we have watered them those are coffee grounds and uh, thanks to uh, jerry and jim's being very assiduous with the uh, local uh, pete's coffee that's here uh, they got a lot of grounds in to put around on these roses and the roses have taken to them wonderfully and this is really great we've tried to do stuff with coffee grounds before this is sort of next level and it's very well done so we're looking forward to see what results from this society garlic coming along as well we also have some other uh, growth down here as you can see uh, some bulbs and things so we'll have a nice new sort of refreshed rose area once this kicks in over the next few months now we haven't really done much else in terms of uh, major planting but this essentially was a big infrastructure day and much cleanup and I'll sort of point out some stuff here in the distance a little later on but as you can see right now the where we had the utter chokes up there at the top of the frame are now no longer we've transferred a small bed there and we'll be doing proper planting and things of that later uh, basically you can sort of see what happened with the uh, old artichoke there taken away pretty thoroughly uh, however uh, what we have is uh, this spot in here for the artichokes where we got some small ones here we're going to see how well they take the idea being that we're getting them away from the fringe over there the end because they're just grow into the walkway and be kind of really hard to work with more centrally located here this will be just really handy and uh, they can just sort of grow up and around and not grow over and if they do grow over to the edge over here as you can see plenty of space to come to the edge we think will be fine um, we've got bricks walkers uh, bark this all here because basically we're going to do some relayering and relining uh, but probably not until later in the year towards maybe in February early March so everything here is just mostly in here to be in here there is nothing really permanent aside from this bed which you can see below uh, all the uh, chicken wire and everything here uh, the soil has been transferred over this bed used to be the old major tomato bed in the back this has now been transferred up to here and will become where tomatoes uh, will be planted for the future. So we are going to continue with the tomatoes now in this bed uh, because it just was always such a massive success in the bed. So we think we'll uh, do just fine over here. So we're looking forward to that. So again, more place from where everything, nothing is permanent. Uh, there is pack beyond where the chair is. There's a little sort of bed area that we'll put something in in the future. And uh, some of the bricks over there you can see in the distance. Uh, we'll see about uh, what we can do with those. So that's going to be our patch, meaning Stripe and Marianne, who are over there uh, doing some work on uh, some uh, lima beans that are now finished their cycle, and uh, and myself, and we're going to concentrate on this. It'll be still a shared garden area, but our friends Jerry and Jim will now be taking over this area. So here's what's been done. Uh, this bed, which was the corner bed where we had corn in the past and other things, uh, they'll probably pretty much keep. Uh, I think that is their plan. Uh, you can now see kind of over there at the top, we'll get a little near to it in a bit, are some of the other beds. The idea is those beds will probably stay and they'll be the central bed area. As you can see, they now, the one bed that was here, uh, the square one is staying, and then this big long bed right here has been transferred over and in, and they'll be using that. Similarly, uh, where these boards are, they're probably planning on putting in another bed in the future, and they'll you know, it's up to them how they want to lay it out, and we're giving them, you know, carte blanche since it's pretty much going to be their area. And so things will probably be moved around and redecided, but the idea is they'll probably have a limit layout now, kind of similar to ours. Um, society garlic that's here, and then the rescue roses that were over here. Give them a little watering, we'll see what happens with them, and we'll see what happens with them. So going over here, in terms of what's actually still growing, which is not all that much, uh, but we still have the rosemary uh, that's over here, just thriving along. Uh, the amaryllis uh, over here as well, extra bulbs. And then, as you can see, one tomato plant with just a bit of tomato surviving. Uh, we'll see how that comes along. That may leave before too long, but it's there. And in the meantime, where all the uh, lima bean and morning glory, frankly, was, as you can see, we've still got these various bulbs of onions and good things here, so we'll let them here and let them grow. So that's where it stands with that. 
And then, as mentioned, beyond that, in terms of where we are, this is end of January. Normally it wouldn't be as bright or as warm. The weather in California has been weird, and of course it is very much we are in drought conditions, so we're going to have to see what this year will bring. It may be very much warmer, and that will be its own concern if so, but uh, we at least have more people working on the garden. Our neighboring gardens, as you can see, doing very well over here. I uh, have to credit it to them. They have gone to town. Just absolutely marvelous, the growth they've got here, so it's just great to have these folks as neighbors. Um, our other neighbors over here are a little more low-key, but there's clearly uh, planting and other things happening. We'll see where they go. Got some uh, kale over there and all that. And then the uh, fellow with the vineyard, he's uh, at it again, uh, just growing in for another year's growth. As you can see, the major growth over there in the distance and the new growth over here. And we'll see where he comes with that. And our back neighbors right here uh, doing uh, very well with a nice little mix of stuff. And we'll see where it goes and so on and so forth. So it's been uh, really striking as always. Some other great growth. Again, really warm day already hitting towards noon. Uh, we'll be wrapping up here and heading out. We've uh, maxed out the morning as much as we could. As you can see, just a quick view of our neighbors. But there we are, so that's the first gardening video for this time. It's more of an update. More things will be happening. Uh, we still haven't decided exactly what we're going to be planting in full. Uh, as mentioned, we've got uh, you know roses, then artichokes, then uh, then the uh, tomatoes that'll go over there. But we still have a couple of extra bits. We'll put things in. We shall see. There is much to come. So until that time, uh, probably won't update until we do the next full infrastructure layout and put everything down, and then we'll have a better idea of what we're planning. Do an update then. Until then, we'll talk to you.